In this video, we are going to implement AdMob interstitial ads in our, in our Android Studio project. So to get started, I have an Android Studio project already set up and we did this in our first video in this series. If you haven't did, uh, watched this video, please look at that link in the description to the full playlist. Now continuing, open your browser and then search AdMob tutorial. Then you get this get started under developers link click on that and then on this sidebar on add formats go to interstitial then we now we'll follow this simple guide step by step and now we need the code to load and add and also the code to show the ad and also the full screen content callbacks to know when the ad is shown and when the ad is dismissed and also when the ad fails to load so what we do now let's first prepare our main activity layout here we need two buttons one to load the ad and the other to show the ad i'm just doing this for simplicity as you can use also the full screen content callbacks to show the ad immediately when it is loaded without the use the need for a user to click a button or what so i create just a simple button with an high drop content the id will be load ad then i will center it in the middle of the screen And then I'll give it a simple text. Load add. So I'm just going to copy and paste this code to create another button. And this will be show add. And also change the text to show add then here i will center it horizontally and then put it below the load add button okay since we have these two buttons now it's time to add them to our main activity so button go to simple Call them load then comma also the show button now in the on create method of the main activity let's instantiate these two buttons so load go to find view by id r dot id dot load load add then show go to find view by id r dot id dot show add now i want to load the ads when the load button is clicked so for that matter after initializing the sdk i'll just set the buttons on click listener inside here so that i only load the ad when the sdk is initialized so i'm gonna get load dot set on click listener and i just use a lambda function here and then after when i click on the load button i want to load the interstitial ad so i'm going to call a method load interstitial Then I will create this method in our main activity. So there it is.
so don't worry about these two red lines just a problem with my android studio but the code is okay so when we here is where we are going to load our interstitial ad and we shall use this code from the admob guide so i copy this object and paste it up here and then import this class like that now i need to get this ad request all this code from the ad request and up to here copy it and we put it inside our load add method then we import the classes input this one not this one because this one is duplicated and now the string tag is not in there so we can either create it or we just use a uh, manual string let's call it add more then we are good to go load error then here also just put it manually add mob okay so when the ad is loaded i want to be sure that it is already loaded before i can show it so immediately after the ad is loaded we are logging this but for simplicity what i'm going to do is to show a toast let's say add loaded so by this i will be sure that the ad is loaded before i can show it okay so now i need an increase crease enough for the show button so let's say show Set it on click listener and here i'm just using a lambda function as well but before you can use these lambda functions make sure that your project is running on java 8 and above so when the show button is clicked i want to call a method show add show that's the show And I'm going to create this method in our main activity like this and I will use just use this code from the this one copy it and paste it in, in here then change this to uh, the name of your activity in my case this main activity okay this is all you need to load and show the add mob ad and remember here we are using a test ad unit id this one but if you want to show live ads real ads in your app you have to replace this id with the uh, interstitial ad unit id from your ad mob dashboard so when you add mob dashboard you when you go to apps then you select your app in this case this add mob example then go to add units you can add an ad unit and then select the format interstitial just give it a name create it then click done so this is the ad unit id of the real ad mob ad unit ad id that you can use in your app after testing okay so that is it let's now build and run our application and see if it is working So this is the app. Now let's click on our load add button and wait a few seconds for the ad to load. And we see our toast here ad loaded, which means the ad is loaded. And now we can click the show ad button to show our ad. 
so this is the ad and it is working very well and i hope this video helps if you like it give it a like and subscribe to this channel the next will be our the next tutorial will be about the app open ads so those are the ads that are shown to the user when they leave and then come back to the app